Nursing is a complex discipline. It is both an art and science. Nursing has evolved tremendously over the decades and has flourished to the profession it is now. It is multifaceted, encompassing autonomous and collaborative care for individuals of all ages, families, groups and communities, sick or well in all settings. In the Philippines, the early context of nursing began from our superstitious beliefs in witchcraft. Albularios, Helots, and Babaylans act as healers and health providers. In the late 1890s, the war between Philippines and Spain emerged, which resulted to a significant amount of casualties. With this, many women have assumed the role of nurses in order to assist the wounded soldiers. The need to formally train Filipino nurses became evident during 1907. The aftermath of the Philippine-American War left many Filipinos sick and wounded. Locally trained healthcare providers were scarce to cover the damage, hence the need to train more nurses. One of the first few institutions to open its doors for aspiring nurses was the Philippine General Hospital in Manila. The school began as a small dispensary for civil officers and employees in the city of Manila and later grew as a civil hospital. In 1907, classes for nursing was initiated. Three years after, the hospital was turned over to the Department of Health. The civil hospital was then abolished and the Philippine General Hospital was established. The school became known as the Philippine General Hospital School of Nursing. Among the first few graduates was a Filipina who later became the first Filipino chief nurse and superintendent of the PGH School of Nursing. She is Anastasia Hiron Tupas, a nurse who has later became an icon in the Philippine nursing history. Anastasia Hiron was born in Lawag, Ilocos Norte on August 24, 1890. She married Dr. Alberto Tupas and became a mother of four children, including a TOYM awardee, Benjamin Tupas. Her contributions to the field of nursing were so important that she was bestowed with a title, Dean of Philippine Nursing. She graduated from the Philippine General Hospital School of Nursing in 1912 and pursued a certificate of public nursing at the University of Pennsylvania. Later on, she earned three more degrees from the University of the Philippines, namely Bachelor of Science in Education, Master of Science in Education, and Master of Arts in Nursing. She also earned a degree in Bachelor of Science in Nursing at the Philippine Women's University. Five years after she finished her education, she assumed the role of Nurse Superintendent in PGH until 1923. This marks her journey to elevating the standards of nursing profession in the Philippines a task she selflessly dedicated her life into. Despite the struggles she faced in raising the standards of Philippine nursing, she headed a committee that prepared a bill systematizing Philippine nursing education. The said bill was approved with the Philippine legislature in 1919, which changed the previous qualification of taking up a nursing degree from elementary to a secondary course graduate. In 1918, she also founded the Southern Island School of Nursing in Cebu City and served as its president until 1928. She also served as the secretary treasurer of the Board of Examiners for Nursing in 1919. From 1929, the UP School of Public Health Nursing became the premier school of nursing under Mrs. Tupas's stewardship and produced the best graduates in public health nursing. Together with the assistance of her faculty members, they formulated and organized the first curriculum for the Bachelor of Science degree in nursing in the Philippines. She later on became the Dean and then Dean Emeritus of the College of Nursing of the Philippine Women's University. Together with the others, she founded the Philippine Nurses Association, which she served as the head in 1922, and the association's membership reached thousands. With her achievements in the field of Philippine nursing, the association renamed the Outstanding Achievement Award to Anastasia Hiron Tupas Award in her honor. The association also bestowed the title Dean of Nursing in the Philippines to Mrs. Tupas. She died on September 28, 1972, and a marker can be found in front of the Provincial Capitol Building in front of the Provincial Health Office in Lawag City in her honor. 
But what has driven Anastasia Herontupas to be the leader that she was? Where did her passion come from? What motivated her to dedicate herself to her profession? Little is known about these aspects of her life and being. History can only tell so much about her life and works. Dr. Annabel R. Borromeo, Senior Vice President and Head of Hospital Operations of St. Luke's Medical Center, believes that it is possible to discover the deeper facets of her psyche and being through the theory of deconstruction. Deconstruction, according to French philosopher Jacques Derrida, is a way of criticizing not only both literary and philosophical texts, but also political institutions. Join Dr. Annabel R. Borromeo as she unearths the life of the Dean of the Philippine Nursing through the theory of deconstruction.